Well, hello and welcome to Cooking with Compton, this new mini series where we cook and make our food. No, no what a load of rubbish. Now I've got something to show you. I've got a second one. Uh, they did actually send me two. I've got, once I've finished doing what I'm doing here, this is the second crimpit. It's brand new, it's in the box. If you want this, there will be a web link coming up on the screen somewhere through this video. So you're gonna have to watch it. And when you see it, just drop me an email and I need a comment saying that you sent me an email and then I'll just pick one at random. You have to do the two things and uh, yeah, you can get one of these. Now I'm gonna go back to the video for me in the past, doing the future for the future, doing the past, if you know what I mean. See you in a bit. What a load of rubbish. Now I've got something to show you. Um, you've all seen this, the crimpit square. Uh, I've done a little video for it. I'll put a link up in the top corner for you. Uh, this was a little crimpit. You put little square breads in there. You put your little food in the sun, squash it down. It wrinkle crinkles the edges and then you put it in something like a ridge monkey and you make your little sandwiches. Loved it. They come up with a new invention. Look at this. This is made in Great Britain. Uh, this, is a, this is, I love this, crimpit wrap. So basically you take your wraps, which I've got some nice healthy wraps here, some wholemeal wraps, and I've got a nice variety of food I'm gonna slap inside it. Uh, so I've got cheese, ham, and I've got some green, some green stuff that comes slight, I don't know. Yeah, it's going in anyway. Um, the idea is we make a little wrap, it turns it into a pocket. We're gonna warm up the Ridge Monkey and pop it in there. Very, very simple. So it comes in a small box, very simple in a small box. Inside the small box, you get uh, some instructions basically telling you how this thing works. Very, very simple, very, very easy. Uh, the basic idea before I run through it all is you put your food in, you put your wrap in, you put it in the microwave for a couple of seconds, which makes the edges soft and then you fold it down. I'm in my van, as you can see, so I don't have a microwave. The other option is to run a slight wetness around the edge with your finger and that seals the edge and crimps it and makes it nice and um, well leak proof. You then pop them in the air fryers. You either put it in the air fryer, the grill, the oven, the frying pan. Well, I haven't got anything like that. I've got the Ridge Monkey. You know I love my Ridge Monkey. This thing is brilliant and I use it in the van all the time and it is one of the best gadgets you're ever gonna have for van and camping is a Ridge Monkey. And they do different sizes, sizes and styles and that as well. And that's basically what you get. So you get that. There is a little recipe card in there with some things in there. This recipe card says you've got a chicken chorizo, sliced tomato, green peppers and basil leaves. Uh, that makes a nice savory and it got a sweet version, which I hadn't even thought about making sweet version so I'm gonna actually love this in the van for making some puddings apple sauce stewed apples and cinnamon and honey imagine that wrapped in a nice little wrap I suppose and uh, you might be able to get some different style wraps that make that but yeah I'm looking forward to that so you get this recipe card and it's also got a Facebook um, barcode on there as well so you can um, go onto their Facebook and have a look and see what they do so let's let's crack on let's let's make something let's see if we can get this to work and then I'll tell you a little bit how much it costs and uh, where you get them from so we open up our wrap our little crimpit wrap thing. This is, I've never used this before. This is straight off the cuff. So if this goes wrong, uh, blame me. So the wrap goes in there. We're gonna do it this way around because we wanna put it into the black bit and you poke it down so it's like a little bit of a dish just so it sits inside the middle there like that. We're gonna put some cheese in. Excuse my fingers, they are not clean. Uh, where well, they should be. A little bit of cheese goes in. Nice and stylish and stylish. I've got a lovely knife here to do this properly, but you know it is. Bit of ham's gonna go in. Put a little bit of ham in. Quite a lot of ham actually, because I do like my ham. And we've got some of this green stuff. You know what this green stuff is. If you, can, if you know what this green stuff is, drop it in the comments and let me know. It's very soft, very nice, and very yummy. Uh, and it just, it's, uh, it's good, but the, the name of it's eluded me, as they normally do. And I've also got down here somewhere, I had in my little fridge behind the closed curtains, I've got a little bit of um, hummus. So I'm gonna put a little tiny bit of hummus in there as well, because I think that'd be quite nice to spice it up a little bit. This could go completely wrong, I hope you know that. Right, put that in there. We are then gonna fold this over on the top there. And then we take our crimpit thing and we squash it down. No, 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 we don't, we don't. Let's go back half a step. We are going to just unfold that. We need a wet finger, don't we? So we need a little bit of water, wet finger, and we need to run that round the edge. So yeah, let's keep this all perfectly in time. See how I'm doing it nice and healthy with my finger. So the idea is we then fold that over. Then we take this. We squash it down, so we give it a good push down. I'm gonna just lift it up and give it a good press because I don't want to squash my table. There we go, like that. So if you've got a proper table that's not a camping table, you can actually put some pressure on it and press it down. When we open this up, we're gonna have a nicely 
pressed like a pastry. Um, it looks like a pasty, doesn't it? It looks like something you get on a pasty. You can see there, it's all nice and crimped around these edges. This, uh, and the idea is with this then, we're gonna warm up our Ridge Monkey and then we're gonna pop it in the Ridge Monkey, give it a bit of a toasting and uh, slice it down the middle and see what it looks like inside. Right, so it's in the Ridge Monkey now. I'll give it a couple of flips. I can see it's getting quite smelly. I'll open the window. <laughs> it's getting smelly because it's uh, toasting quite nicely. Um, I don't know what it's gonna be like on the inside, but it's definitely toasting. So I'm gonna make a little bit of space over here. Uh, let's move the old uh, crimp it wrap. Oh, by the way, this thing is uh, microwave safe, dishwasher safe. So this thing's also uh, goes in the dishwasher, which is good and handy for cleaning. Right, let's make a little bit of space. I need another plate. Two plates, what a disgusting, I've, got, I've actually got to wash up after this. Right, so plates there. I'm gonna cut it in half and see what it looks like once it comes out of here. Right, so you can see it's actually going a bit browner and it's definitely, it's definitely got warmer inside anyway, so I don't know how long I need to put it in. This is a, honestly, this is the first time, so this is an experiment. I've got enough here to make another one, just in case I mess this first one up and I need to put it in there longer or it needs to be in there half the amount of time, I don't know, but. Right, so while we're waiting as well, and I'm just keeping an eye on that because, oh, I can smell it, it's sizzling. Something's sizzling, the cheese must be melting. I think with that sizzling going on, and the smoke coming out of there, I think that's probably done. So I'm going to slide it out onto the plate, Ugh, like that. I am going to ignore the slightly dark brown section on the top, and I'm gonna cut down the middle and see, it's definitely nice and crispy, and the cheese seems to have melted. But inside here, we have a very nicely melted cheese toasty sandwich. So I'm going to now let that cool down a little bit because it looks extremely warm and I'm gonna tuck in. So thanks for watching. If you've got any questions about it, please let me know and I'll drop them a line and ask them for you. While I'm here, I've got a second one. Uh, they did actually send me two. I've got a brand new one here, unboxed, unopened. If you want this, you have to have watched all the way through this video to know that I'm gonna put up a web link and the web link will take you to a email address where you have to email me and drop me a comment saying you've emailed me and uh, I'll just randomly pick one and send it to you. So that's the rules. If you want this, that's what you gotta do. Right, I'm off. I'm gonna eat this when it cools down, finish off my coffee and uh, get going. Cheers.